Trinophore monitoring of the ulnar nerve. Trinophore monitoring is commonly performed using the ulnar nerve for the following reasons. It's usually easily accessible during surgery. It's not prone to direct muscle stimulation. It's easy to locate anatomically. And the stimulatory response can be observed tactily, visually, and objectively. Nerve stimulation versus direct muscle stimulation. Correct electrode placement is imperative in order to stimulate the target motor nerve while avoiding any direct stimulation of the target muscle, in this case, the adductor pollicis. If the muscle is stimulated directly, the effect of the NMBA on the neuromuscular junction cannot be assessed and contractions will occur even during deep neuromuscular blockade. Electrode placement. As previously explained in our supramaximal stimulation video, the placement of the stimulating electrodes are critical in achieving a supramaximal current for the purpose of ensuring reliable monitoring results. In order to avoid any anatomical anomalies, as well as ensure correct electrode placement, we recommend utilizing the Stimpot nerve mapping pen to locate the most superficial nerve site. When using the nerve mapping pen, we recommend setting the current intensity between 8 and 12 milliamps. If a strong contraction is found at this current, it can be assumed that a current of 60 milliamp will sufficiently qualify as a supramaximal current. When placing the electrodes, the cathode or black electrode should be placed distally on the most superficial aspect of the ulna bone. This is usually found where the nerve courses radially to the head of the ulna before it emerges into the palm of the hand. The anode or red electrode should be placed on any location at least 2.5 cm apart from the cathode and preferably not on the pathway of the ulna nerve. Electrode polarity. It's important that the cathode rather than the anode is placed on the most superficial nerve site in order to cause depolarization as opposed to hyperpolarization of the nerve. Depolarization of the nerve requires less current than hyperpolarization, therefore making a supramaximal current much easier to achieve as opposed to if the polarities were reversed. Accelerometer application. Due to the fact that the ulnar nerve stimulation will contract the adductor pollicis, the accelerometer should now be applied to the patient's thumb. The accelerometer contains a three-dimensional technology which allows for the accelerometer to be oriented in any way and therefore requires no calibration. Once the setup is complete, a train of four test can be done in order to observe the patient's muscle contractions. The TOF ratio should be well above 100%. Please note, it's important to verify that the current setting is roughly the same as the current delivered. If the current delivered is much less than the current setting, there's a problem with the electrode skin interface. Possible causes include a need for skin preparation or a defective electrode. Thank you for watching this instructional video on Train of Four monitoring. For any further information on our products or neuromuscular monitoring, please visit our website at www.savant.com. Thank you.